everyone welcome back to made by Nala so for this DIY I started off by making a mark to indicate where I was gonna cut you can use Taylor's chalk once I had done that I marked out where I wanted to bleach my trousers by marking out a big B and I also did that for other sections of the jean and you'll see how I did that then I went on to cut out the sections Once I had done that, I just separated what I wanted to bleach from the darker pieces of material and that's just indicated where I wrote the letters B. Then using a pen, I marked out where the piece of material was going to go on the trousers. So I put like top bleached, but um, I realised that once I bleached the trousers that the colour also faded. So what I did is I added the same markings on the non-bleached parts to make it easier for myself so this is like a puzzle the more clues or the more uh, writing that you do the easier it is for you to complete this project make sure to keep the parts that you don't want to bleach somewhere safe and keep those all together Unfortunately, I didn't have a clear container to show you guys the bleaching process, so I just used the vase. But you want to add the bleach into whatever container you're using. I kind of eyeballed this one, so I don't really know the measurements. I was just adding as I go, and I also added water as well just to balance it out. Then one by one, I added the pieces into the mixture, and yeah, I just let that soak for a few minutes. Then using a wooden spoon, I just mixed everything together. As I wasn't seeing much of a colour change, I added more bleach and mixed everything together. To see how I bleached the top half of my jeans, visit my website www.madebynale.com. Anyway, back to the video. Once everything is dry, I just went with my scissors and I frayed the trousers. You can also add this into the tumble dryer for a more dramatic effect. Make sure to do this for all the pieces. So to reconstruct the trousers, I put the shorts back onto the floor and I matched up all the pieces. It's like a puzzle so it's trial and error and you just keep going. Use the side seams for guidance. Once I'd solved the puzzle, I just matched up the pieces ready to be sewn. To join each piece, I started off by turning one side inside out like this. And then you want to slide the lighter patch over the darker patch. As the piece I'm showing you this is for the end part of my trousers, I just flipped it over so it was facing me. This is a very important part because you need to make sure that your seams are all fitting together correctly. And once you know that your seams are aligning, then you can begin to take your pins and pin everything together. To know whether you're doing this correctly, flip the piece of fabric um, outside so you can see how the end result would look. So with mine, I realised that my seams were matching correctly, so then I made some adjustments. So I recommend that you keep doing that before you sew together. But the important thing is to make sure that the frays are showing and yeah, do that all round. Make sure the leg piece is facing upwards and you want to slide that into the jean. So you're using the same technique that we used before, but you're just using this one on a larger scale and you want to pin it again the same way that we did. Then sew the pieces together and take your time with this. Mm -hmm. 
Once that's done, turn it inside out and you should have something that looks like this. Then repeat the same steps for the other side of the trousers. Thank you.